Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making the easy candy cradle crochet baby blanket. What you're gonna love about this pattern, it's a two row repeat. One, you make the little cradles, and one you come back and make the little candies. So it's super easy to keep track of what you're doing. You begin and end in the exact same way. And it works up great in any yarn. You can even use a solid color yarn. It looks adorable. Or any sort of self-striping yarn. It really highlights whatever color change you have going on in your yarn. I use Puzzle Baby for this blanket. I'll put a link to that in the description box down below if you like the look of this particular blanket. But you can use any yarn with whatever hook goes along with your yarn. This blanket also looks great on both sides. The back side of the blanket is adorable. That's where you can see more of the little cradles. So one side of your blanket is the candies and one side is the cradles. Both sides look fantastic. There's, there will also be a tutorial for this border to go along the edge, but this will be a separate tutorial coming up on the channel. There are right and left-handed versions of this tutorial. I'll put a link to those in the description box down below, as well as the cards up above. If you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, it's available over on my website, secretyarnery.com, and we'll also include this lovely border in the same pattern. For the Easy Candy Cradle Crochet Baby Blanket, I used Puzzle Baby from Ice Yarns. It is a 200 gram skein of yarn and has 610 meters. I used four skeins of Puzzle Baby, so that works out to 800 grams or 2,440 meters or 2,670 yards. Now my blanket is quite large. It is 48 inches wide and 63 inches tall or 122 centimeters wide by 160 centimeters tall. For baby blanket size, you will need one pack of Puzzle Baby. That is two skeins or 400 grams. And the blanket size is 35 inches wide by 42 inches tall. And if you want this exact colorway, there is a link to it in the description box down below. I will be using a five millimeter crochet hook for my blanket and a six millimeter crochet hook for my starting chain. So this is a J hook I'll be using for my chain and an H hook I'll be using for my blanket. A bunch of stitch markers are also handy and a darning needle for later, as well as a pair of scissors. So let's get started. You can make your blanket any width you'd like it to be just by changing how many you're chaining in the beginning. You can chain any multiple of three for this pattern. For a baby blanket size, we will be chaining 129. And for twin size like I did, that will be 183 chains. So we'll start by making a slip knot any which way you normally do. Shrink it down and put it onto your bigger hook. So we're gonna do our chain with a larger hook I'm using a six millimeter, just so our blanket doesn't curl on one side. And chain any multiple of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. For baby blanket size, we want to chain 129. Or for twin or double size, you want to chain 183. An easy way to keep track of that is just to do sets of 10. So that is nine. I'll do my number 10 and then grab a stitch marker and just pop it right onto that chain. And then make another 10. One, two, 10. And pop another stitch marker. Now keep going until your chain is the width you want it to be, any multiple of three, or for baby blanket size, you have 129 chains. When your chain is the length you want it to be, switch your hooks, put this big hook far away so you don't grab it by mistake later. Put your regular hook in and chain two. One and two. Now if you pinch your chain a little bit and kind of roll it to the side, you'll see these little back loops. There's one right underneath your yarn. That's our first one hiding up there. We want to go into the second one right here. So we're just going to be counting these little back loops and we want to go straight in. So if you hold it to the side, you can see these little camel bumps, these little Loch Ness monster bumps. So we're going to go right into the second one and just keep in mind that that first one is hiding right up with your yarn. So we're going to start right into this second back loop. 
So into the second chain, just slide that onto your hook. One single crochet. And one single crochet into each of these back loops or into each chain. You can work into the front of your chain like you normally do, whatever it, you're comfortable with. We just wanna do one single crochet into each chain, working all the way back down along our chain. So each chain gets one single crochet. So pause the video and one single crochet into each chain, working all the way back along your work. And I'll meet you at the end of your row. Don't worry if your chain is all curled up and twisted, it'll sort itself out. And into that very last camel bump, that very last stitch, will be your last single crochet. There we go, that finishes row one. To start row two, chain one and turn your work. Now we're gonna work into this very first stitch right here. We're gonna make one single crochet. So into that first stitch, one single crochet, and chain three. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna skip two stitches. So there's one, two, we're gonna go into the third right here. We're gonna get two strands of that stitch onto our hook. One single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. And we're gonna skip two stitches, one, two, and work into the third right there. So we're just counting these little dimples for our stitches, one, two, and into the third. One single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip two stitches, one and two. Working into the third, one single crochet. So we're making these little cradles all the way along our row. So chain three, one, two, three. Skip two stitches and into the third, one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip two stitches and into the third, one single crochet. So pause the video and keep going along like this, doing a chain three, one, two, three, and one single crochet into the third stitch all the way along your row until you reach the end of your work. At the end of your work, we're gonna do the same thing. So skip those two stitches and make our last single crochet into that very last stitch right there. And one single crochet. So that finishes row two. Start the candy row with a chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. And into the very first stitch, this single crochet here right at the end, we're gonna make our one double crochet. So wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the first stitch. Our chain three counts as a double crochet, so that counts as two double crochets. Into the space, one single crochet. And into that stitch, if you kind of pull your, pull your work, you'll see that stitch open up, that single crochet right there. We're gonna wrap our yarn and go straight into that stitch and make three double crochets. So this is our candy. One, two, and three double crochets, all into the same stitch, just like that. And into the space, one single crochet into the next stitch, three double crochets. One, two, and three. One single crochet into the space, and into the stitch, three double crochets. One, two, and three. One single crochet into the space. So we're just doing these little candies, these little shells, and then pinning them down into the space. So three double crochets into the stitch. Two and three. 
and one single crochet into the space. So keep going along your work, doing three double crochets into each stitch and one single crochet into each space, and I'll meet you at the end of your row. At the end of your row, single crochet into that last space to pin down your last candy. Wrap your yarn and into this last stitch, we wanna do two double crochets. So just into that stitch, it's kind of a bit on the, on the slope. You wanna put your hook in and you wanna make sure you grab two strands of yarn that's on the top of your hook. So put your hook in and two double crochets into the same stitch to finish off the candy row. Just like that. Start row four, this will be a cradle row. So chain one and turn your work. Into this very first stitch right here, one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. And now we're gonna work into the top of each of our candies. So just the center stitch, one, two, three. Each of the center stitches of our candies is gonna be getting our single crochet. We're just gonna land it straight into that center stitch. So into the top of the first candy, make sure you get two strands of that stitch onto your hook, one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Into the top of the next candy, that center stitch, two strands of it on your hook, one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Into the top of the next candy, one single crochet. Chain three, into the top of the next candy, one single crochet. So that is the second double crochet, the center of your candy. Chain three, and one single crochet into the center of the next candy, just that center stitch. So keep going with this all the way along this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of your row, do your chain three. So if you put your hook into that space and kind of wiggle it, pull up that chain, you'll see the top of that chain three right there. So we just wanna put our hook straight into the top of the chain three, still keeping two strands of that stitch on the top of our hook. So right into the top of the chain three, one single crochet to finish off the row. So that completes row four. So to start your repeat candy row, start with a chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. Now into the very first stitch right here, we're gonna do our double crochet. So wrap your yarn and one double crochet into that first stitch. And into the next space, one single crochet to pin it down. Into the next stitch, we're gonna do a candy, so three double crochets into that stitch. One, two, and three. And pin it down with a single crochet into the space. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the stitch. One, two, and three. And into the space, one single crochet. Into the stitch, three double crochets. One, two, and three into the space, one single crochet. So keep going along this row, doing your candies. So three double crochets into the stitch and one single crochet into the space, all the way along until you reach the end of your row. At the end of your row, we are gonna be doing two double crochets into that last stitch. It's this stitch here kind of on the hill. So we just wanna put our hook straight into that last stitch and make sure you get two strands of that stitch onto the top of your hook. So put your hook in, two strands of yarn on your hook and two double crochets to finish the candy row.
Next row is going to be cradles. That starts with a chain one. Turn your work. One single crochet into the first stitch. Chain three. And one single crochet into the center stitch of each candy working all the way along with a chain three in between and a single crochet into the candy. So keep going along and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of your row, make your single crochet into the top, into the top of your chain three, two strands of that chain on your hook. And now the next row you will be doing is your candy row. Candy rows start with a chain three, turn your work and one double crochet into the same stitch, that first stitch, and pin it down, single crochet into the space, three double crochets into each stitch, and one single crochet into each space. At the end of your candy row, finish with two double crochets into that stitch. So candy rows start and finish with double crochets and now keep going alternating making a candy row and a cradle row all the way along until your blanket is the height you want it to be. When your blanket is the height you want it to be and you have just finished the shell row, Go ahead and cut your yarn, chain one, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tail and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'd love to see your blanket. If you can tag me over on Instagram at Secret Yarnery, love to see how yours worked up and what yarn you picked. How gorgeous is this? So thanks so much for hooking along. Have a super great day. We'll see you in the next tutorial and stay hooked.